Hi art friends, it's me Mrs. Mertz. We're going to be drawing a Corvette today. This will be lots of fun. So we're going to start out by making sure that you guys understand use a pencil. I'm using a marker so you see it really good but please use a pencil it's so much easier. So I'm going to use a template to draw the wheels with and you could use a bottle or a cap or something round that you see in your environment to do this if you don't have a template. So I'm going to make one on the left and then make one on the right and it's got a little more than a hand width apart and then these sports cars have really skinny tires. So I'm going to do another line in the middle to make the skinny tire there we go, making another line in the middle to make a skinny tire. And then I'm going to make the rim. And the rim is going to start with a dot in the middle. Okay, then after we put the dot there, we're going to make the uh, lines coming out. So we're going to do one coming down, two coming to the side, and then two coming up off the top and these are going to turn into the rims. So now I'm going to make them thick toward the outside. Now I'm going to do the wheel wells. So the wheel wells are going to have these little diagonal lines coming out from the bottom half of the wheel well because there's not a lot of clearance under these cars. Then I'm going to get <coughs> my circle and I'm going to get a bigger circle and go around the top of the wheel well. But I want the wheel well to be real low on top of the tire so it almost touches the top of the tire. There we go. Do the same thing over here. All right, so now I'm going to draw the bottom of the car where that uh, wheel well goes. And then I'm going to draw a line across the front, which is about a finger width or so maybe just a little bigger and the same thing at the back not super long because their trunk space is pretty tight then we have a little thick line on the bottom it comes up comes around and then there's that headlight there we go you're doing a great job All right, now we're going to draw a nice gentle line above the wheel for the hood and it's going to stop a little bit after the wheel and there's a little piece that comes in on the hood, just some little like rectangles and then we're going to draw the uh, door panel. So there's a line that comes in diagonal and across. Okay, we're going to thicken that inside part of that diagonal line. And then we're going to put a line that is about a finger width above the rear tire for the back part of the car. So the back part of the car is just going to come up. There's a little, little uh, tailpipe back there. It's just going to come out and up and then back across with a gentle line so it's not perfectly straight but it just kind of arches in and then we're going to draw a rectangle back there for the uh, backlight and there's some detail on that back part that comes across and then down diagonal and then it's got some stripes through it and 
then we're going to draw the trunk. So it's just going to be an arching line that starts above the wheel and goes down with that finger width up. Then the back of the car starts kind of in the middle and then I drew it uh, going back and then that top part where I stopped above the wheel gently arches up to meet up with that for the front windshield and then I'm going to draw a line back and then a line up for the uh, for the door. There we go. Here's the rear view mirror. So it's just kind of like a, a letter L. And then here goes the windshield. Okay. Here goes the extra piece in that windshield. Now to finish up, I'm going to draw a line repeating that top line back down for the door. And then above the wheel, it's going to drop in. And then here comes the the window part, the bottom of the window, and then there's a uh, line coming right down there that's a little diagonal. It's not perfectly vertical. And then I need to put the door panels on. So I'm going to start by putting a little more detail. These, these things have a lot of detail. So a line coming across and then a diagonal line coming down that's thicker. And then here's the door panel dropping down from the rear view mirror or the side mirror and then a line going across the bottom and then it comes right back up to that window. It kind of arches and then here's the little handle for the door and what else do I have? Oh yes, the spoiler. I'm going to put an after factory spoiler on. So I'm putting two diagonal lines and then I'm going to put a third line back there that comes across. There we go. I'm going to make it a little bit wider. And there's your aftermarket spoiler. There it is.
Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to Middle School Art Mania and be a maniac.